Hello guys, I'm here to do, oh no, my extremely famous unboxing videos. What is it this time? Geez, let's find out. Oh my god, look at that. It's so pretty. Yeah, this is a Model 3 with a box. So, Let's take a look at the box. There's the side, 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 and back. Now, just to let you know, this was licensed out to Majesco Sales even though it's a official Sega product. Well, let's uh, open it up. As usual, these comes with these manuals. Let me show you this. Nothing in the back. Honestly, when this first came out, this was meant to be a budget system. It was meant to be very cheap. So, I'll just put these to the side and we got that that out of the way. Alright, before we look at the system, here's the power plug. It is much smaller than the Model 1 or Model 2, so that's nice. Now this is the RF that I came with. I don't know if this was the ones I actually came with, because the one in the manual has the other Sega branded, but this says Mega Drive 2. So, I don't know if this was the ones they used, but, I mean, it is a Sega uh, branded RF. I've just never seen one like this before. Anyway, now, this is the actual controller that comes with it. This is really tiny. I mean, take a look at that. This thing is much smaller than the regular six button. Okay. The regular six button with the mode button there on the shoulder, but they move they moved it to this black button right here. So that's gonna be a problem. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you got a switch here. Let's see if it wants to focus. I should have had this on manual focus. Anyway, you got a normal going from left to right. You got normal, turbo, and slow. So, an official Sega controller with a turbo and slow switch to it. Now, even though this is a really small controller, this is actually a really, really nice controller. In fact, I actually like this more than the other six button controller without the switch in the middle because the d-pad is really responsive and these buttons are really really nice
but of course you can use any controller because it uses the same plug. Let's take a look at the console. Now just to show you how small this console is, um, here would be a good comparison. Here's my PSP. Here's my PSP 2000 and here's the Genesis. Put that over it. I mean this thing is really really small. Well, of course these were meant to be very cheap. So when you switch it on it's just a little sticker just like the TurboGrafx-16 on the side here you got your power and your AV plug and of course your two controller ports and your cartridge input and that's pretty much it now at this point you know in 2009 um, this is only meant for collectors. Why? Well, there's no there's no expansion port to plug in a Sega CD. Another downside with this is the the cartridge port. Not all the pins are actually connected, so you can't use like the 32x or certain games like Virtua Racing because it requires extra pins that this is not connected to. There is some hacks that you can do by opening this up and basically connecting the wires to it. It's just this they just never connected them. But it's not that big of a deal. I mean I have the Model 2. Um, I replayed all the games for the Sega CD and 32X and you know, I don't want to hook all that stuff up just to get stereo sound. So I'm just going to be using this. And it's really nice and small. As I said in, in that uh, Genesis uh, video, I like small compact systems. Um, let's see, anything else? No, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can, if you're curious how it looks when it's plugged in, you know, you plug it in like that. Take your power and your AV cable. Basically, goes in like that. It is kind of weird that it goes in from the side. I don't know why it made. I guess they just wanted to make it as small as possible and this was the sacrifice I had to do. But not that big of a deal. Is this worth picking up? Um It's worth it to have it as a collection, but this is obviously not the first version, the first one you should get. You should look track down a model one or model two first because those are hundred percent fully compatible with everything this is not this is compatible with like ninety percent of stuff but if you if you want to get the system and you want to make sure it works with anything you throw at it don't get this version but this is still nice to have and as usual it's in mint condition. Yeah. Look at that. Alright. There it is. And have a good one.